Harold's injury was pretty crazy. Um, seems like it's kind of outside the bounds of a typical injury up. Yeah. Did he travel home last after the team? Did he stay in the yeah. city? Thanks for asking that. That was what I was going to start with. I think, yeah, due to the, due to the nature and the, uh, the significance of, of his uh, situation, definitely going to comment on that. And Thoreau didn't travel with the team. He wasn't, wasn't allowed to travel just due to the, uh, the nature of, of the injury. Uh, he's in Salt Lake City still. Uh, we don't know exactly how long that's going to take. To, um, he needs to go through a couple of, of procedures here in the next again to generalize three to seven days approximately to, to get as best of a foundation as can, can be had going forward for his, his long term prognosis, uh, which we don't you know we don't know at this point at all. He's out, he's out, out for the season. Um, uh, you know, obviously a short term you know meaningless thing really at this point in, in a lot of ways. Um, but uh, he's there has a has a ton of support and a number of football staff with him. Uh, a couple of his family members were there with him. Uh, hopefully more on the way trying to make that happen. Uh, we'll have a, a member of our athletic training staff go down uh, and be with him tomorrow, starting tomorrow, to try to, to again, uh, comfort, expedite, support during, during uh, this, this next phase. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, the long-term long -term plan from there is, is going to depend on, on what happens now, and we don't, we don't know it. Um, unfortunately, you know, that was a, a, a significant injury. Uh, and if you're a prayerful person, thoughtful person, obviously our thoughts and hearts are with Farrell, as well as you know a couple of Utah guys who had unbelievably significant non-contact injuries in that game. It was a it was a tough game. You know, I have a ton of respect for for Kyle Winningham and Utah and and everything that they're about, and it was it was tough on both sides. Um, and I want to thank all our medical people. Unfortunately, we had to. Uh, really show their expertise last night, both you know professionally and uh, as human beings, uh, and the same with all the people at the University of Utah and, and the, this kind of sports medicine community there who did an, you know, an outstanding job under horrible circumstances. Who's, uh, who's back with him from your from the staff? Uh, uh, Horace Rain is with uh, him right now, and uh, Kim Terrell will be with him tomorrow, and uh, we'll manage the situation as best we can going forward. I want to thank our administration as well for everything that they've done and, and, uh, at this point. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Yes. Yeah. Is he doing okay? Well, uh, I talked to him last night, um, and all the, all the rest of the details, you know, I think can be can be best best be said is, is we're doing everything we can for him, uh, and uh, you know, going forward, it's a, it's a it's a long process, but that he's a he's a you know competitive guy, and uh, it's already it's already galvanized our team. In the locker room last night, coming off the field, it was an unbelievable situation, tough situation, and just reveals more and more about our, our, our guys that we like.